Hey, my friends. Welcome to Making Clouds with Mudflap. Oh, a little tickle of the nose there. Don't mind me just enjoying a little bit of my birthday sift that I received when I got out here in the lovely Chilcolton. Thought I'd get together with you, my friends, and let you know uh, how we're making out here. We're, uh, we're on week three of, uh, well, just starting week three of being out here. Still trying to get used to the whole thing. I mean, every day we kind of question ourselves and do we actually like we actually live here? You know, it's it it it's it's amazing and overwhelming at times. Um, all in a good way. I mean, learning so much, uh, whether it be house issues or bugs. There's lots and lots and lots and lots of bugs out here. Uh, which just getting used to, you just gotta make sure you're prepared when you go out and, uh, you still gotta get things done because there are so many things to do. I don't really have too many shots of, uh, things that, uh, have been done around here. Only a couple of little things that I took video of was, um, uh, me cleaning up a tree and, uh, putting the hose on the side of the house. There's Karen. She's got the windows clean. Now she's making us some sandwiches. And we got the hose and uh, holder done, the fiber hose there, water's on, ready for the outside. I to use my new saw. I just came in here to clean some of the dead and be able to walk from underneath. I should have maybe taken a picture, or I probably did on my homestead video. But uh, yeah, now I got some foliage to get rid of. <laughs> but we needed to clear it up so it could be healthier and to be able to walk under it. So that'll open it up back here a bit too. Yeah, there's a plug on the outhouse, that's funny. And a welcome sign. And a welcome sign. There you go. Oh, look at that view. Gorgeous day. But that tree uh, was out by the horse barn, and we just couldn't walk under it or around it without uh, getting rid of a few of those limbs. So that's one thing uh, i got to say. I'm three weeks in and still have all my limbs. Uh, I didn't use my chainsaw, as you probably realized uh, from the video. We still have to get a little bit more uh, accustomed to things out here before we start playing with that and start looking for our, our uh, winter firewood we're, we're learning we're getting used to things uh like i said just uh trying to absorb the whole uh new lifestyle uh we haven't been to town for a little while we did end up going today um for a quick quick little uh grocery run and uh um, there's always tools, little tools that we need, and wheelbarrow needed tires, needed a different shovel, uh, grinder, yeah, a little bit of everything, right? And always just seems to add up, and uh, had to order the generator too, so um, that's uh, the expensive thing that we had to at least get out here. Just feel that now that we're starting to stock up on supplies with the groceries and and things we use around here and that's why every time we go into town it does cost a bit. No. hey we've been here for three freaking weeks we're back in town again grabbing supplies seems like every time i come to town it's costing me 800 to a thousand dollars but we're getting loaded up that's for sure just just the fact that we're trying to stock up not just buy what we need at the time and anytime we think of something we try to just get it so um we do have a lot still going on uh Thursdays are uh, possession acquisition license and our restricted license for guns uh, is on Sunday. So we got those two courses this week, uh, both Karen and I, which should be fun. Uh, not like we're doing any shooting or anything like that, but uh, yeah, still trying to get our phone hooked up. Uh, June 5th, we'll finally have a phone so people can call us and uh, our licenses. I have to do a few things. I have to get a uh, physical, which... Um, I got to meet the doctor last week in, in Tatla and stopped in the store when we were there. Yes, I did the beaver, and I just did the bear. We had a mix yesterday. We had a lot of this later today, but most of the really hard. 
I'm not sure what I expected when I went into that store, but uh, it pretty much was what I would assume something in that area would be like. A, a small little town. Um, was, it, it got to meet the doctor, like I said, because I have to get a physical for my license to get it changed over and get the insurance changed over. There's still so many things to do. I mean, we're only three weeks in, but time has just flipped right by. And just so tired by the end of the day. Uh, and sleeping is is nice uh it's getting hot now in the days but this house seems to stay nice and cool so hopefully it doesn't stay nice and cool in the winter uh, we'll find out once we get the stove going because there's a few more things we have to do with that chimney sweeping and whatnot um, but i did take some video this week when i was out doing stuff so uh there was one point uh, we slipped down to the mailbox and then after that we uh went and uh, got some water so a little different than uh Go to the store. All right. Well, we here we are, two weeks in, loving the lifestyle. Busier than hell. It's hard to stay out past nine o'clock at night, just because we've got so many things done. As you can see, we've got some of the grass cut. Karen's got the gate open. We're heading down to the mailbox. Laundry lines up and being used. Hounds are with us. We might go get some water. I love seeing Teddy with his face out the window. This is our little mail office. Open three times a week. This will take the dogs in. <laughs> Cute little place, isn't it? All right, we're going for a little water run after the post office. I didn't take you inside. It's a quaint little place, and uh, there's usually some locals hanging around in there, but maybe someday we'll get you a little shot of in there, but <clears throat> just on the uh, road to the spring where we get our water, <clears throat> my throat's a little dry from the grass cut today, but yeah, she's uh, uh, a mountain road, and you can, I don't know if you can see the mountains back there, but I can see the mountains back there, anyways, uh, we're going to take a little run to the spring and show you where we get our drinking water from. I do have to say that it is a little bit of a drive to go get the water, five or six kilometers, but it sure is a lot nicer than driving down to the freaking Real Canadian Superstore or Walmart for my jug of water. Ain't that for sure, Karen? Yeah. Here's the tanker base for the forest fighters fire attack crew. Air tank base. There's more of the marsh. Our marsh? I believe it's, well, it's probably part of the river that runs to <clears> the <throat> and there's the mountains over there again. And here's the rest of the road. There's where the road kind of changes because the tanker base is gone. And there's the mountains over there. I, I'm having fun. <laughs> Sway by a truck. So I said, do they plow this road in the winter? And he laughed at me. Nah. Yeah, the city comes all the way out and plows just so you can get your drinking water. I believe this is my turn. I'll turn the camera over to you so I can use my expert driving skills. My city driving skills. <laughs> they are no good here. Oh, this is it. This is cool. Okay, where do you go? I will show you. See these old barns and that? Mm -hmm. Yes, it's a conservation area. This is a conservation area? Yes. This is me. Why don't you bring your camera? <laughs> Shut up. There's where we get it from, Artesian Well, right there. That's where, that's where I'm going to film a job. What a view for the water. Oh, look at the horses over there at the barn. Karen, we live here. I know. <laughs> I don't know how 
how close those horses are going to let us get because of the wildness and all. I know it doesn't look wild, but this is a conservation area off the other side of the marsh. Thank you. You could be just eating me and I believe you. No, it was a big one. There's the gun range where we're getting our shoot now. Once we get licensed, of course. Yeah, and the, the drives are always interesting. We really haven't got a chance to enjoy the area. Um, like we should have. I get the getting out and getting some water was our enjoyment that afternoon. We just just seemed to have so many things. Just Karen's finally getting pictures up in the in the, the house here, and everything's kind of getting set up. We still need a little furniture. Um, the upstairs is finally getting set up, and we got to find a place for the tent and everything. So yeah, there's there's still a, a few things that that need to be done, and uh, you know, just just uh, when we're out all the time. Uh, I'm noticing the. You have to be a little bit more cautious on the roads out here, just because uh, I think last week the cows started to be allowed to free range, and obviously with the wild horses, uh, there's there's lots of things to look out for on the road. <laughs> Besides wild animals, which we haven't seen too much of, I've seen the odd deer here and there, but I haven't really caught anything other than that uh, so far, um, at least while I'm driving, P trying to pay attention to him driving. But uh, we did, uh, and I didn't really take any video because I feel bad, but it was really rainy last Saturday. But uh, we got to head out with our friends, uh, Mr. and Miss Chili Boo, for once again, thank you, my friends, for uh, everything you've done to uh, uh, incorporate us into the community. But we went to the Artisan's Fair at Eagle Lake last week, and I only, like I said, took a little footage of when we were leaving. Uh, and a little bit of a drive up there. Uh, another beautiful area. Got got some treats and uh, got to meet a whole bunch of neat people. And, and uh, yeah, I think uh, it would be nice for Karen to get her crochet table up and going at one of these things. And uh, get to know the folks in there. <laughs> this is how you get steak here? This is how you get steak. You drive along the highway, you see something that's not going to do too much damage to your vehicle, and then you sort of bump it. Well, that's all the horses. It's like stock car racing. It's all. <laughs> Open and rubbing. Where do the little ones go? Oh, yeah. The yeah. babies. <laughs> yeah. Baby cows. I can't believe they made it on the already. They just got turned down on the 15th. Baby horses. Wow. <laughs> if you're from Ontario, you call baby horses baby horses. <laughs> Everyone else calls them foals. <laughs> Everything's a baby. A fool me. knows his foals. There we go. I know she was looking. I know marigolds will uh, board off those mosquitoes, eh? Yeah, yeah, well, and I need lots. Yeah, no, no, I'm not going to need that. As long as I don't drop the cupcakes, I'm good. Yeah. <laughs> This is a 10% grade. The valley below. Yeah, Piper Lake will be that way somewhere. As a lot of you know, 
I do uh, a little bit of training and exercising besides the yoga in the mornings. Um, I did a bit at, at home. Uh, not as much as uh, I would really wanted to. Thought I was kind of giving her, but not fully. So I started training with uh, Drill Sergeant Boa here. And uh, yeah, he uh, kind of had me uh, doing something here to help me with my training at home uh, the other day. Just a little footage for your uh, subscribers. Yeah. So then that I'm not just renovating. Well, there will be a couple of those clips I shot down in the dungeon last week. And they're going to simply be shown because of the, pre the appreciation of the effort you put forth. Nice, start back filling. All right, 15 minutes of sledgehammer and done. The camera's probably shaking like a motherfucker because I am. But hey, there's a new thing to play with every day. I worked out for, for the half an hour, but um, they're, they're intense training sessions. And I'm really freaking enjoying it. I really am. I feel a lot better. Uh, I think we started week three this week, so just keeps turning it up a notch each time. Other than that, the only thing i got to leave you guys with is some of our dog walks in the last, uh, last week there. Um, Went down to the, around the lake a little bit. Uh, we meant to walk around the lake, but we ended up going up higher around it. And then a little bit uh, at the marsh, uh, we went and found the dam. But other than that, I don't know what else to tell you guys. Uh, we'll check in with you again next week, uh, see if something, anything more interesting happens. Like I said, we've got the couple of courses this weekend. I know the generator's coming in next week. I got a storm door for the back coming in next week. So... Yeah, I'll probably slip into town, won't need a whole lot of groceries, but anytime you slip into town, you try and buy some of the fresh stuff like the fruits and vegetables and things like that that don't last as long as uh, your other supplies. But yeah, we're still trying to stock up because uh, there is wildfires in the area. Uh, we've gotten a little bit of smoke from the Alberta fires. Um, I can't see the mountains uh, the last couple of days. Not that you can smell it in the air, but it just looks hazy, like a backwood in Ontario, in Ontario uh, with the humidity and that. But, uh, yeah, we'll uh, we'll kind of get to that uh, situation when we can. we uh, we got the generator coming, and like I said, we got a good stock of food. So I think uh, if something happens... Oh, I did order my uh, wasp, my water uh, protection system for my roof to, to spray around. It's an irrigation water type sprinkler, so... Um, I got one of them. I probably should have got two, but we'll see how this one is and works out. Uh, we might get another one for the shop in the barn. I guess I'm going like that, but it's just side, side, side. <laughs> Other than that, my friends, thanks for joining me. Uh, we'll see you next week. I uh, do love you all. Miss you, my friends. Um, uh, not missing Ontario, really. Uh, still having a wonderful feeling of, I can't believe I live here. Other than that, thank you. Love you. Be well, my friends. Be proud of those clouds. Unfortunately, on our walks, we do see a lot of these abandoned <laughs> vehicles, and by the age of them, I'd say they've been here for a while. Every time I stop, the mosquitoes come out. Just another morning walk in the woods with the dogs. And the Karen. Yeah, they're everywhere. Getting way back in here. It's amazing how quick your elevation changes on your walks. We sure weren't used to that at home, were we, dear? <laughs> no. And next thing you know, we're up on a bluff. 
You can kind of see the lake back there now, Hourglass Lake. Yeah, there it is. Yeah. There's Hourglass Lake. We are a bit of ways away from it. God, you've got to love your nature walks in the way. Never had dog walks like this at home, did you, Teddy? Did you? Hell no. This is a long way from your neighborhood. Getting warm yet? Still a cool morning. It's only six or seven degrees. Well, a few days of walking in the woods here and there, no sign of the Sasquatch. Sorry, Mike, no pieces yet. Hmm, I wonder if those are the special mushrooms. I'm not gonna fucking take them out of the shit to find out. A little Friday night jaunt with the dogs. We decided to come up the backside from our property. And uh, the storm moving in. She's thunder. Hopefully no lightning. Never like to see lightning in this part of the country. With it dry. But yeah, this is the neighbor's property next door. So we thought we'd come up on our property from there. There's my horse barn. Still have to clean the paddock area there. Nice little shack, hunting shack, and then our property. It's looking a little bit cleaner back here now that I got the tree kind of spruced up a bit, but we're going to have to climb to the fence. Good thing it's not electrified at the moment. Property's coming along nice. Stay with mom Ted. That leads to the marsh behind our place. 